Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and today is going to be the Partners in Cream Project Pan update number one. So I've been working on these items and just kind of thinking I would update you guys whenever I had time to film or whenever I thought the progress was decent enough. And I think today I actually managed to hit it lucky and I got both of those things. I've made pretty decent progress on a lot of these and I actually <laughs> surprisingly have time to film. Um, so here I am. I am so sorry I don't update my channel as often as I used to, but I just got a lot going on. So I apologize to anyone who's been worried or anything. It's just, it's really hard to sit down and film and then find the time to edit and make thumbnails and all of that. So I try to space them out until I think they're actually worth doing versus doing monthly updates like I used to do. So it'll probably be bi-monthly on a lot of these updates or just whenever I think progress has been big enough to be interesting. But anyways, this is the Partners in Cream Project Pan. I use cream-based makeup items in this project, and it was created by Steph and Dalin here on YouTube, who of course will be down in the description for you. But let's go ahead. I have six items in my project currently, and let's just go through how many times I used it. I just had a moment to film, so we are filming. So the first item in my project is the, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is basically just a primer moisturizer. Primerizer, makes sense. Um, I don't use this every day. Lately, I've just been wearing my SBF and then going straight in with my BB creams um, because my allergies are really bad right now. I did use this in the end part of winter, of course, a good bit because my, my skin got really, really dry. So in this, I have 32 uses. It feels a lot lighter to me and I would say there's probably about 20 uses left in this because I don't use too much, but it feels considerably lighter and this is definitely something uh, in the next update I plan on this being completely rolled out and done. Um, and I do think that's doable. I think what I'm gonna do for summer on the days I wear no makeup, I'm gonna just wear this um, under my SPF or over my SPF, one of those. I'll do one a few minutes before and let it set and then go about. Um, cause I'm not liking this under my BB cream when it's warm outside just because it's too many layers for me. Um, but if I don't have BB cream on, I could definitely get away with using this. I guess I could also use it on my chest if I'm using like body oil or body glitter on top of it maybe. But who am I kidding? I don't do stuff like that very often at all at this point. Also, I'm sorry about the lighting. The sun, the, the way the sun is coming in through this skylight is backlighting me and I know the lighting's probably a little dark. So I do apologize, but again, I gotta film when I can. The next item is my Flower Beauty Concealer. I have been using this super consistently. You can actually see a window in it now, which is really exciting for me um, because I didn't think it would show a window. First of all, I wasn't sure because it's a pretty thick concealer. Um, this I have used 30 times as well. That's the consistent number um, for me. I don't wear makeup every day. I'm lucky if I wear makeup two to three times a week sometimes, depending on how busy I am. Um, sometimes I just throw on eyebrows and mascara and go. So 30 uses is pretty consistent for two two months for me, and I th or for a few months for me, and I think I'm pretty happy with that progress. I think this will probably take me another few months um, with that amount of wear, especially because this is a bit of a thicker concealer, and I, don't, I wasn't using this concealer only. I have another concealer that's a little lighter that I was using on on days where I just didn't want to wear this. This was pretty heavy during the winter because my skin was so dry. Um, so I think that also accounts for the lower usage on this um, in comparison to how long it's been since I've updated. The next item is one I am wearing. Actually, I'm wearing the, the concealer and this blush today, but the next one is my Pacifica Fluffy Blushy. This is in the color um, Sunset. And it's this really pretty like terracotta orange or corally orange cream blush. It's beautiful, I love it. I've been wearing this almost every time I put on makeup for the last couple of weeks. I've gotten 20 uses out of this, um, which is really, really good because I do have another blush and another project. So between the two of them, I think I'm decently getting a lot of use out of both. Um, but like I said, for the last like week or so, every time, or the last couple of weeks, every time I've worn makeup, I've been wearing this one because it's pretty warm here now and it's made me really excited for spring. Um, I'm wearing it today. It's really light and neutral. And I do think, I hope 
in pictures it's going to be obvious but i can see a considerable difference it is dipping really really low um, and my goal with this wasn't to finish it it was just to hit the bottom hit the pan um, and i think i'm getting pretty close so probably by next update hopefully we can at least see a tiny bit of pan in here the next one is a lip gloss and i have used this one 10 times and that is my essence shine 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 lip gloss i don't know why i'm not reaching for this more um, besides it just, it, it keeps getting lost in my makeup bag. So I'm going to throw some on right now. Yeah, that is a use, right? Uh, this is actually showing windows in it as well. I don't think, uh, this will be hard to finish up in the summer, in the spring for me. Now that it's super pretty and warm outside, I am wanting to wear lip glosses a good bit, but it's just a matter of me being able to see this so I can use it. I think that's sometimes my issue is if it's in my makeup bag and I can't see it, I forget about it. Um, so I do need to lay this out probably on my desk or on my bathroom counter so I can actually see it and know, hey, you should probably use that. That will probably make a bigger difference. The next one is one that I said I only wanted to use 30 times and I've used it 10 times. So this one I really need to focus on because it wasn't something I wanted to like spend a lot of time on um, or a lot of updates on because it, it was just supposed to be a way for me to cycle through things and get use out of them. Um, and unfortunately, my plan was is I would wear it every time I would film, but life changed again and got really, really difficult for me to film in. So that didn't end up happening. So I've only used this 10 times. That's my Fantasy Cosmetica Lost Library lip gloss, uh, lipstick in the color Lost. I had this on this morning. I've basically wiped it off now, as you guys know, because I just put that lip gloss on. It's super pretty, super wearable. It's just, again, a matter of I don't tend to want to put on a lipstick if I'm just at home hanging out with the kiddo um, or like out in the yard playing. It's just not something I want to do because I end up forgetting and then smearing it all over my face or something. And just, I'm not wearing makeup that frequently for it to be something that I'm like, I'm gonna throw on a lip lipstick, you know? So my plan of it being worn only when I filmed would have worked out if I was filming consistently, but unfortunately, like I said, that didn't work out. So I do need to get 20 more uses in this before I can roll it out. And then whatever I roll in after that, I will probably amend the goal and make it a little less to fit my lifestyle now or to fit how life is going currently. I'm gonna still stick with this goal because I made it and I like to try and stick with things that I set out to do as much as humanly possible. And I don't think 20 more uses will be that bad as long as I'm focusing on just throwing it on. Maybe I should just throw it on regardless. I'm gonna put this on my counter with the lip gloss so I can see it. The next item is actually one, it's not technically done yet, but because I won't be able to update super frequently, I'm gonna go ahead and say this one is getting rolled out because it has probably one or two uses left in it. And that is my Purito BB cream. This is the Sika Clearing BB cream in the number 13, uh, 13 Natural Ivory. This is what I'm wearing on my face today. This is basically what I wear anytime I wear makeup at this point. BB creams are basically my go-to right now. And this one only has a few uses left in it. I can definitely tell it's super, super light. So I'm gonna go ahead and count this as finished. So this is my first product that I have finished so far. Um, I got about 40 uses out of it um, thus far. So I'll probably end out the project with it having like 40, 45 maybe. Um, which is pretty decent. I love this. I'm gonna repurchase this. I've gone through, I think this is my third bottle now. I love it. It's it's just a great BB cream. But while I finish this one, I am going to roll in another BB cream because I've just recently found this one and I've used it a little bit. I've used it maybe five times so far. So it is a bit brand new, but this is from Mizone in this or, or Mizone, Mizone. This is the Snail Repair Intensive BB Cream in the number 21. I've worn this a couple times now, like I said, and it's really, really nice. This one is much more warm tone, and this one is one of those weird, it looks gray at first when you put it on your hand. Um, and then when you're putting it on your face, you're like, this seems like it's like a grayish tone, but it just blends so nice. And it sits on the skin 
so nice it makes your skin look plump and alive again which for me sometimes is a struggle if things have been super chaotic at home where there's like little sleep and lots of lots of movement and moving around and lots of managing tantrums <laughs> if that's your life then you understand that sometimes your skin can also look tired um this is a beautiful bb cream i got this off of I got this off of iHerb, 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 the website, and it wasn't too expensive, and I've really been enjoying it. It's a really good BB cream if you're looking for one to try. I would highly recommend this one, because um, so far, so good. But I'm gonna roll this one in to replace this BB cream, and same goal, I wanna try and finish it. Shouldn't be an issue. I know I probably should work on like actual foundations in my collection, but I just don't feel like wearing full full coverage foundations unless it's a special event which the only special event i have coming up is my brother-in-law's wedding and other than that bb cream all the way and i might even still wear bb cream to the wedding we'll see who knows but that guys is the entire partners in cream update again i apologize for being gone for so long it's just very difficult to film if you have small toddlers in your house, you understand why. Um, that can be, um, especially if they drop their nap, which was your only time to film before. But I have managed to find a little bit of time today, so I'm so glad to be back. Um, I cannot promise anything at this point. I feel like I keep making promises to you guys and I cannot keep them. So I will update when I can. Um, I just wanted y'all to know I'm not, nothing's happened. It's just sitting in front of a camera and then sitting for a couple hours to edit is a lot for me. I don't have that much free time, but I did not forget about you guys. It's not that I don't want to be here. It's just, you know, it's how it is right now. And it will not be permanent. It is in flux. So I'm glad to be here today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how your spring is going so far. I feel like I have missed out on so much from you guys. So let me know how your spring is going so far. You can also, you can follow my Instagram if you want. It is right here on the screen for you. I'm over there semi-frequently so you guys will know I'm alive. Um, I do also have an Etsy shop that I haven't updated this month yet but I do try to update that once a month with new items that I've made by hand. So if you haven't checked that out, check those out and I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye.